Okay, what is up everybody? We are back with some more Armored Core 4 answer. Uh, last time we did a handful of missions, we did some upgrading. We did a rank battle. This time we're just going to continue on our merry way. And try and progress a little more. Uh, I changed a few things up. I noticed last time that our audio was a little quiet in comparison to our commentary, so I have boosted the audio a little bit. I'm hoping it's not too much. Uh, let's do the attack on Richland. Hopefully it's not too much. The client is GA America. The target is the algebra forces guarding the Richland agricultural plant. Your task is extremely simple. We want you to destroy all enemy units. There's one catch. The enemy has commandeered a GA manufactured arms force. The client cannot give us any details, but it sounds like it's gonna give you some trouble. Oh yeah, like before, we can provide you with support next for this mission. Let me know if you want to draw on these resources. You can get support, and gonna have to pay the money. It's a dangerous job. But we could get support. So 500,000. We could go with... Was Celebrity Ash the one we had last time? No, these guys are different. Well, look at that guy. Totally a tank setup. Nice. <laughs> uh, you know what? Last time, we were pretty okay on our own. So let's just do this on our own, I think. I don't think we're on a time limit or anything, so we should be okay. That didn't quite work how I wanted it to, but <laughs> but we got up. We got up. Now I want to take these cannons out if I can, anyway. Oh no, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Okay, let's go. Oh, stop! I wanted to change my guns. Okay, we are slowly taking out guns, more guns, more guns. Ooh, I think we got them all. Do we got more guns? Whoa, that's a lot of guys, eh? Oh, they're just everywhere. Land craft destroyed. Good. Now just Damn right, the land crafts decide. Just decide. <laughs> Destroyed. It was surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. Now we're going to get a huge payout for this because we decided not. We decided not to uh, enlist anybody to help us. 
Now we did use quite a bit of ammo and we probably took quite a bit of damage. But still, it could end up worse. So we still ended up with almost 400,000 credits. That's not that's not too shabby. I won't I won't scoff at 400,000 credits. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go into the shop and take a look. Just give me a second here. Okay, let's go to the shop and take a look at what's going on. Following AC schematics have been acquired. 047 AN, 049 AN. We just got quite a bit of money. So let's head into the shop, see what we can buy here. See if we can get some upgrades going on. Have we gotten new guns? Oh, it's the dozer and stuff. I don't think we've gotten any new guns yet. These are our back units. We're doing okay with those missiles. Those missiles are pretty nice. This could be even nicer. How much is this? 100,000? Really fucking heavy, though. Really heavy. I would need quite a bit of a capacity gain. Or I'd have to make my body lighter, which would give me less health. Oh, we got quadrupedal legs. Oh, this is what we just unlocked, I think. 049. I think that's what we just unlocked, the 049. So we got these quad legs now that we could get. Or we could go tank, which would give us definitely more. Let's give tank a go. Let's give the tank a go. I want to get at least one of these cannons here. Give it a shot. Or was it? Well, oh, these were shoulder units. That's what I want. Back unit. Was this one here, right? Yeah. This one's not bad. Slightly lighter. Only a thousand less damage, which isn't terrible. But yeah, they gotta go big or go home. So what, what's this, the Yamaga? We're gonna try and get that for our other back as well, see if we can get both. Yamaga. Okay, let's go see if we can equip all this. So, assemble. So we're going tank bottom to give us more capacity. Booster. Oh yeah, see you don't get a booster when you're a tank. This is... So, I'm going to stick with legs because I definitely want those boosters. This is going to be very... Uh, very situational, I think. But having those tag legs is going to be a good thing. We're going to go back to gun arms. Because that's going to allow us to put these Yamagas onto our shoulders. Which I think is going to give us some pretty decent back weapon. Uh, I need... Did my booster get re-equipped? I think it did. I think when I put my legs on, I automatically got the booster back. I just don't wanna. I just don't wanna end up with a, a missing booster going to the match, and I have no booster. That would suck. Uh, how much money do we have left? We still have. Uh, we only have ninety-nine thousand. Do I got anything I can sell? Anything I'm not really using? 
this bazooka I'm not really using. We could sell that. We're going to keep the Gatling guns for now, I think. We'll get rid of these machine guns. Because the Gatling gun we're going to keep. Get rid of this bazooka. Our back units, we could get rid of these missiles. Because we have the other ones now. <sighs> What's this? Arms. We can get rid of these ones. Because we have our other ones here in case we want arms. Legs. These are better than what we're using, but give us less... They give us less capacity, I believe. And they weigh more. So what I think what I'm going to do is we're going to keep the tank legs for now. We're going to sell these legs. We're going to try and buy some parts here. I have to look into how stabilizers work. I think it just changes up how, like it changes up your movement and stuff, but I need to look into how, how seriously it changes things. Okay, uh, this part shows the group's technology advancements. So this is for our overboost. This is going to give us less overboost but it's not going to cost as much to use it and all the other ones are just worse side boosters horizontal energy costs nothing that gives us more boost yet so not going to worry too much this is all thrust stuff which a lot of stuff energy cost but well this puts our quick boost up quite a bit Maybe relying on our quick boost a bit more instead of just our regular boost. We could try and give this a shot. This is our main booster. Again, these both boost quick boost, so we could try and focus on the quick boost more than our regular while we're in combat. It's something we can test out anyway. May as well give it a try. This gives us a tiny bit more capacity, but it weighs a lot more, so that tiny bit capacity really isn't worth it. This all increases our lock distance, but our lock speed isn't great. But I think having more distance is going to be good, plus our energy cost is down on it, so that's useful, but it does weigh a little more than what we have. I think it's a good fit, though. And I think we're good to go. I wonder if trying out quad legs would be worth it. Do we do we lose our booster on quad legs, or do we just use our lose our booster on tank legs? Let's let's find out. Let's see if quad legs give us any benefit. Okay, so we're gonna attach all this stuff first. Is this the quick boost one? That's the quick boost one. This is the quick boost one. So I could sell these. I could sell that. This is for capacity output. Energy output. Wow, energy is a lot higher. Our energy capacity is a lot higher. We need to buy more stuff to get us more energy. Dang. Uh, this is our lock distance. Quad legs do anything for us. Raises our defenses. We get to keep our boosters. And it only decreased our capacity by a little bit, which isn't bad. But it really took our AP down. Let's give it a shot. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Let's get into another mission here. 
Uh, defeat AF Cabrasen. Oh, we just don't even have the thing anymore. Defeat the spirit of the mother will. Let's go with that. We'll try and defeat the spirit of the mother will. Why not? The client is Omer Science Technology. The target is BFF Corporation's main arms board, Spirit of Mother Will. The enemy AF is armed with large bore long range ordnance. It's an oversized, out of date machine, but the long range punch it can deliver still makes it a serious threat. To counter this, the client has proposed you use a Vanguard Overboost unit to approach your target. Its tremendous speed should allow you to close on the target's perimeter without getting hit. Once you've closed in, target the gun batteries. Destroying those guns should also cause damage to the machine's interior. It's pretty poorly designed, but that kind of sloppy work is expected of them. That's the briefing. This is a very important mission for Omer Science Technology. We hope you can It's probably bad that I was only like half paying attention if this is a really important mission. <laughs> okay, except. Let's go. I should have been paying attention more. I was not. I was not. Remember this. Okay, destroy. We have lasers being shot at us. Into that building. Am I supposed to be seeing something? Oh, there it is. Oh, we're going so slow. Uh, I have to destroy that thing. That whoa. That fucking base. Is that what's happening here? We gotta try and get in close. Oh, I did not want to go up. I just wanted to go straight. Whoa! Missiles! Whoa! Dang. Taking out cannons. from here. Can I walk onto that one? Nice. Anything else back here? I think we're just going up.
Okay, I think we're going after those cannons. Oh, jeez. Something came down. Okay, what am I trying to lock on to? Here we go. God, I'm just all over the place. Back up we go. Did I get it? I think I got it. At least I got one. Oh yeah. Are there more? Is that what's happening? Whoa. I know. Ah, there was one on this side. Okay. Get rid of these tiny guns down here while I'm here. So. Okay, let's go. very out of ammo apparently that's probably not good what do I need to hit what is still firing at me oh fuck what back up back up Now it's letting me use my other one, so that's good. So at least once... At least once my ammo is depleted, I can still use my back weapon for my other... What is happening here? I know! Damn, I am low on health. Am I just supposed to be attacking it now? Like, is that all I have to do? Can I just attack it? Or is there more stuff I'm supposed to be hitting here? I'm trying to find where they're still firing at me from. Guys here. Got guys here. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, those were missiles. Where were those coming from? Ah, hello.
Was that it? Did I do it? I think we like we either just ran out of ammo or it locked us from shooting anymore because the mission was done. But that was pretty tense. We were we were pretty low on ammo there. I don't know how I feel about these uh, these quad legs here, but we we successfully completed the mission, so that's a good thing. We <laughs> we needed four hundred thousand dollars to repair stuff, basically. So our uh, our entire basically our entire profit just went out the window. But we still got about 340,000 credits, so that's not awful. The league has I mean, it's, it could be better, but it's not awful. It could certainly they be worse, that's this for sure. Goal could never be entrusted to any single person who, if eliminated, could jeopardize their reign. So in the aftermath of the Lynx War, the League manufactured enormous battle stations called Arms Forts. Take it. That's what we just took out. Of thousands of expendable soldiers. I'm gonna take this a guess and say. Might the League could control and therefore trust. Arms forts have become the perfect solution to the League's needs, and their firepower far and away surpasses the average next. Dream and hope as they might, the next pilots know that those who dare take on giants rarely live to tell the tale. Oh, chapter two. Chapter two, guys. I didn't even know we had chapters, to be honest. But chapter two, here we go. Acquired 10 units of FRS memory. This FRS memory can be used for AC tuning. Tuning. Okay, so I guess now we get to learn this. So our capacity, which is our load, uh, I, I would definitely like to uh, increase this, both our KP output as well as our load. Our load is what allows us to carry more, I believe. We can tune our attacks. Maneuverability fire stability aim precision we can improve our lock speed our missile speed this is all armor our primal armor we haven't been using our big explosion move at all should probably do that a little more uh, we can increase our boosts which will probably be useful increase our quick boost this is all stability and turning ability. Does this let me turn quicker? Because <laughs> that would be nice. Okay, so what? We have 10 points. So this doesn't do a whole lot for us. Now, I don't think our KP output I need to remember what the KP output is. Tune the load on the legs part. We could get a little bit more capacity, which would be nice. So I think we're going to put a few into this. Is that permanent? Can I take that off? I can take that off. So we have 10 maximum which it looks like we can uh, fiddle around with as we see fit. Uh, we're going to increase our precision a little bit. I think precision would be good. Oh, geez, we need like five to even be able to bring it up one point, though. Jeez. Maybe we don't have to be super precise. 
<laughs> we, we just have to maneuverability is uh, maneuverability maybe how quick we switch our weapons lock speed missile lock speed radar refresh our boosts we could definitely use some boosting I find that our vertical boost is lacking a little so let's give a few to our vertical boost here our horizontal boost is okay our horizontal boost is is okay for the time being oops I didn't want to quit out I want to do the rest of that maneuverability our boost special boost this is our quick boost and our over boost our quick boosts are okay for now our quick boosts are okay for now this is all stability tune the leg stability the core stability or the heads stability or our turning ability let's increase our turning a little bit see if we can notice a difference we'll go with that for now we weren't we won't worry too much about attack for the time being we have a little bit more for capacity so that's nice uh, let's see what we got here can I switch back to regular legs and still keep my I can switch back to arms but I won't be able to I don't think I'll have enough to hold my guns unless I can switch back to regular legs. Oh, I can. That capacity boost actually gave us quite a bit because we still have these cannons. Oh, but we still have cannon arms, that's why. Yeah, we'd be pretty, pretty tight. Uh, can we hold the guns? Oh, I only kept the Gatling guns. Yeah, we definitely won't be able to hold them. Can we hold them with... Uh, spider legs? No. Spider legs give us less output, apparently. Dang. We can hold them with the tank, but the tank's going to reduce... We get no boost with tank. But I don't know if we get the quick boost still. I think it, it disables all boost. All boosts are gone in this situation. Good thing that there is a testing option so that we can test where we're going <laughs> to do things. So, okay. Oh, so slow. So we have like... Oh, we have a boost still. What's it talking about? We got some boost. We got, like, arm boosts. I think what it might be is that the, uh... Is that it might be that the... Leg boosters may have been taken off. That's probably what it was. Oh, damn! That was a big explosion. Let's test this out against a next.
Ah, oh, dang. Well, I think we did better than we did on our last test against the next. That, that went okay. We can target from a lot farther away now. That's pretty nice. Definitely did worse this time. <laughs> okay. Well, we're doing okay. We still have some boost. We're just gonna have to get better boosters. Uh, we're just gonna have to get better boosters for like our arms and stuff if we want to use tank legs. But I think we're gonna use tank legs for the time being because it allows us to use our Gatling guns. It allows us to keep our back weapons. I think it's good for the time being. Can we get a different uh, head or anything yet? Do we have better... This one's going to raise our AP and our defense. It's a little heavier, but it will increase stuff, which is nice. This brings our weight down. We're going to go for a little more defense here. body is still the bulkiest one that we have. Arms are still the bulkiest that we have. Well, we have another thing to increase our lock speed a little more. Our speed goes way up, but our distance goes way down, so we have to be a lot closer before we can lock on. Man, these things are heavy. Eh? Generators. So all this stuff's going to redistribute the weight of my mech, basically, is what I understand here. Is, is what I think, anyway, is that it is. So it's going to make me, like, quicker in certain directions, but not as quick in other directions. Yeah, this is definitely something I need to look into a little more before I start messing around with it because I'm not too sure what it actually does for me. But I'm sure it does something. Uh, can we get shoulder units? Have I figured out my shoulder unit yet? Like, I had a shoulder unit thing and I have it equipped, but it just doesn't let me, <laughs> doesn't let me use it. Okay, well, let's go equip that new head that we bought. Uh, assemble. Because, like, we have this guy here. 
And it says we just gotta... It says we just have to press the circle button to use it, but it doesn't seem to... Chain missile system with denser missile barrages. But it doesn't seem to let us, uh, doesn't seem to let us use it for some reason. Uh, we have a handful of parts here we can sell. Gun arms were expensive if we can sell them for 120,000. Okay. Okay, uh, we're gonna save just since we're in chapter two here, and then we'll head into a new a new mission. Eliminate Procyon. Defeat Unknown next. Well, we haven't been doing good against next. So, rescue the GA transport unit. I think that's what we're going to go for. We're going to... Although this one pays the least amount. So maybe Procyon is what we'll go for first. Because it might be a little easier. But we'll probably be okay with doing the, the transport. But let's try and rank up a little bit here. Let's try and get to rank 29. Let's see if we can knock out this rank 29 spot. Uh, Ms. Theresia. Miss? Ms. The RS is, is always a thing. It's like the R is silent, more or less. <laughs> so, you're basically saying the same thing. It just has two different pronunciations. Uh, let's go to the desert. Why not? Okay, order match. Where are you at? Let's do this. Man, she's quick, eh? There we go, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Karian Emblem 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 <laughs> Learn how to speak. Acquired. Schematic for Karion Acquire. Was that those wheelie legs there? Oh it's Celebrity Ash! Celebrity Ash is the one who helped us out last time. No, no wheelie legs. So your schematic wasn't quite.
Is it weapons? Is that what we got from it? Huh, I'm not sure what we got from that. Unless us acquiring schematics has always just been it going to our inventory. I suppose that's possible. No. So I'm wondering what that means. I think we're going to try and, and take on Celebrity Ash here. I think we're just going to try and go for that straight for that straight for that 28th spot. And we'll do this one in Old Peace City. Okay, let's go. wasn't too bad at all and this guy was bragging about how good he is when we were doing our mission what a joke what do we got next patch the good luck oh is this patches this is armored core patches guys oh I guess technically Patches Patches is Armored Core Patch. <laughs> Let's go... If I can hit the right button here. Kitasaki Junction. Alrighty, where are you at, Patch? I see you. Oh, already coming at me, eh? Already being a trickster? Oh, I got stuck on the wall. Oh, he's jamming my sensor here. Dang. Should have shot in the air. That was a stupid move on my part. Nice. We're starting to give me a run for my money there, Patch. But uh, just took out my machine guns and managed to get you. Emerald Raccoon. Should we try and go for spot 26? I think we should. 
I think we should. Let's go. Did we do desert? Yeah, we did. Let's do the grove. Alrighty, Emerald Raccoon, let's do this. Whoa, nice. I'm wondering how much of this I can actually just tank and just like flat out just stay on them and just keep attacking until they're dead and just brute force these fights. Very curious about that. Also, after playing Elden Ring and the later Dark Souls games, it's uh, it's nice to know that From Software has always made bosses that do nothing but run away from you instead of attacking. <laughs> now, obviously, in a tense mech battle, you don't want to stand in one place like an idiot, but, well... We've never go. We've never been particularly good at hopping around and attacking at the same time. <laughs> AC schematic. Oh yeah. Okay. So I think we're gonna try and go for twenty-five, just so we're at twenty-five, Scarlet Fox. We'll go twenty-five and then we'll go back to doing regular matches and only one we haven't done here yet is the mega float so let's do that order match alrighty where are you there you are. This, <laughs> this tank has become a boat. This guy really oh I'm about to die. This guy really likes hopping around, eh? We're gonna We're gonna Try that again. No, we're not gonna try again. We're just gonna We're just gonna go to the the Procyon. Procyon. Whatever it's uh However it's pronounced, we're, we're going to give it a go. Commence mission. Eliminate all Procyon energy cannons. Eliminate all cannons, okay. What's a Procyon cannon? Where would one find a Procyon cannon? Oh! I'm going to take a guess and say that was a Procyon Cannon. In 
Ow. Guessing that oh jeez, I'm guessing there's probably one back here. Whoa. Oh, is there two back here? Dang, dude. Oh. I gotta be more careful. I had to defeat all enemies. I had to defeat all Procyon cannons, which I'm gonna guess is the red sp spots. Whoops. Is all the red spots on the map. I have to start using my other weapon. <laughs> oh, all targets destroyed. Nice. We did it. We did it. That wasn't that bad. I actually thought that was going to go a lot worse, so that's that's pretty surprising. Hold up. Hold up. How did we lose 391,000 of our 100 and of our 400,000 credits? Try this mission again. Current results will be lost. Yeah, lose those results. Lose those results. Eliminate all Procyon energy cannons. Camera, come on. Thank you. Whoa. So I think we had two cannons down this way, but there should have been a path to divert. There was. Oh, there was not. Ah, there is. Oh, come on. So this one's on this side. So I want to come through here. Oh no, that was definitely in front of me. All okay, well that was better than last time at least. We didn't take quite as much substantial damage, which is good, right? The A rank, that's better. 266,000 credits. That's better than 8,000 credits. I'll take that. I'll take that.
Um, with that, I actually think this is a good place to uh, to wrap this video up. I think we're just going to save it up here, and this is going to be a good place to stop for the time being. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part. Hopefully you'll join me for some more Armor Core when we get back to it. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you all for stopping by. Hopefully I will see you all next time. But until then, peace.